Everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. Today we're going to talk about riding on the freeway, freeway riding. We're going to give tips of how to ride on the freeway. We had a viewer that had a question and asked us to do a, a tip on riding on the freeway. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes. This guy is from Los Angeles, California, and... They was concerned about riding on the freeway says that the traffic in Los Angeles intimidating. Yes. And I can understand why. If you ever been in Los Angeles, <laughs> then you, you know. know it's like any other major city in the United States and the traffic is horrendous down there in Los Angeles. So what we're going to do is cover a few tips. First, let me just say, if you are new to riding or, having, or not like riding on the freeway, then you definitely want to stick around for this. So, two things that kind of scares riders for riding on the freeway, especially new riders. And we knew as motorcycle riders, we'd rather ride the back roads like we are today. Oh, yeah. And so the two things, well, there's a lot of things, but two things I'm going to cover is basically, the first thing is, obviously, highway and freeway speeds are a lot faster than riding in the city, but generally a lot safer. And the second thing, if you are stuck in stop-and-go traffic, commute traffic, then as a new rider, you might be worried about stalling your bike every time you have to stop it. So we're going to cover a couple of tips, and then we're going to head to the freeway and show you what we're talking about with some of these tips. My first tip is, if you're intimidated about riding on the freeway, practice riding on the side road that parallels the freeway, which is right. sometimes called the frontage road. I don't know what it's called in your area, but... Out here is called Frontage Road. And, ooh, the wind is blowing. <laughs> and, you know, you ride and you look at the, the, the freeway traffic and you can gauge how fast they're going by with how fast you're going on the Frontage Road. You know, you can pick a car and try to keep up with that car, but by no means break the speed limit laws in your area. Frontage Road is normally 45, 55 miles, right. and our freeway is 65. So you're pretty much there when you get on the, on, or when you're practicing on the Frontage Road. Is there anything there? Yeah, so another thing I want to kind of cover is, one of the things you can do if you're new to riding on the freeway is do it on and off. So get on one on ramp, go to the next on ramp, or maybe two down, and get off and get used to the traffic on the freeway. But be careful because... One of the most daunting tasks of riding on the freeway is entering and exiting because that's when all the traffic start merging. So there's a lot of other things we can cover. So if you're watching this video, make sure you put some comments below because I know we're not going to make it a super long video. Comments below to help some of these new riders get the courage to ride it on the freeway. So we're going to hop on the bikes, head to the freeway and kind of demonstrate. I have one more. Okay, go ahead. When, you're, when you've reached that confidence level, and the courage to get on the freeway, practice riding when there is less traffic on the freeway. Yes. And that way you don't have to worry about too many cars that out there. And what's a good day to practice? Practicing it um Saturday morning, there's not a lot of traffic. Sunday morning, there's not a lot of traffic. Even towards the evening hours, right. there's not a lot of traffic after commute hours. That's what I was saying, after commute yeah. hours. <laughs> after the commute hours. It won't have that much traffic out there. So this particular segment, we're going to wrap up, and then we're going to jump on the bikes, head to a freeway, which is quite a distance. <laughs> yeah, we're not and on then, the frontage road. And then talk about some of the things that we talked about here, and hopefully give some pointers, some tips for that subscriber, in, or any new people that's watching who fear getting on the freeway. Yeah. So stick around with us. We're about to do that right now. Exactly. And it's clear, and I can go. As I'm, as I'm getting on the freeway, I'm, I'm observing the traffic up on top. I'm looking. I'm getting up to the speed of the traffic. I put my blinker on. I look in my mirror. Check over my shoulder. Quick check over my shoulder. I can still ride this out because I have an on-ramp lane. Get up to my proper gear. Look over one more time. When it's safe, I ease on. I didn't want to stay in that lane because that was a on ramp and it's exiting for the next, the next exit. 
the length so, of the next pick. So let's, let's talk about uh, a lot of people have a question on what's the safest or I guess you could say the best lane to ride in on a freeway. And my, I'm going to go first. Mine is normally not this lane because just like we was coming on, I'm going to look over my shoulder, move over to the left lane. Clear, come on over. I yes, check my mirror, even though he said it's clear, check my mirror. Quick look over my shoulder and I move. And I have my signal on too, my blinker. And one of the reasons we don't want to ride in that lane a lot, because as we were coming on, just like we were coming on, there are vehicles coming on also, and that's where all the merging happens. So let me go over to the far left lane. And the lanes are counted from the left one, two, three, four, and this is a major highway, so we have four lanes. So I'm going to go over to the left lane right quick. And can you come and come in front? All right. Switch it over to your left side. Come on through. Pass it on your left. Now, what we're talking about, we're assuming that you're riding by yourself. But if you happen to be riding with someone else, and you're switching lanes, and Cake is my tail gunner now, so Cake, I need that left lane. Stand by. I'm signaling and looking in my rear view mirror. Glance over my left shoulder. Lane secure. Same thing. Even though she told me it was secure, I'm looking in my mirror, left shoulder, when it's safe to do so, move over. Now, riding in this lane, for some people, is the best lane because they're not in a fast lane, and they're definitely not in a number four lane where traffic is merging on. But you still have to worry about traffic merging from the fast lane and the number three lane into your lane. So I'm going over one more lane to the left, number one lane, baby, please. Once again, signal. Quick look over my shoulder, check my mirror. Check over my shoulder again, and I'm same thing. When it's safe to do so, I am moving over. Now, this is us riding together, so if you ride by yourself, just go through the same procedure. Remember everything that you were taught in motorcycle class. Now, the good thing about this lane, number one lane, if you doesn't, don't mind a speed limit or riding the speed, one thing you do not have to worry about, and this is a good thing, you don't have to worry about traffic coming from your left merging to the right in a lane of it. So that's my take on specific lanes. Kate, okay, what's your take? My take mine is my comfort is whichever lane I'm comfortable riding in, that's my safest lane. So if I'm if I'm comfortable with riding in a fast lane, which is the lane we're in now, then this is where I'm gonna go to. Or if it's the next lane over, then that's where I'll go to. But I will not ride in that number four lane. Depends on how many lanes are on the freeway, because of the merging and exiting of the traffic, getting on and off the freeway. Right. So now, even though there's not high commute traffic, there's not a lot of traffic out here. The same rules apply when you're riding in commute traffic. Signal well ahead of time, just as we was on the street, well ahead of time before you're about to make your lane changes. So what we're gonna do next? is take the next exit off and talk about exiting. So if the next exit is two miles away and you new to riding, maybe you should start working your way over within two miles. So if I'm planning on getting off the next exit, in this case, it's barely road. And there's a lot, a lot of traffic in front of me, so I don't want to wait till the last minute and try to rush to get over there. And I think for now, I think barely road is probably about two miles from here, so I'm gonna start merging over. This time, I'm going to do it as if I'm riding alone, so okay? I'm just going to do it without without uh, having you secure the lane. So I'm keeping up the speed. Put my blinker on. That way this car I'm passing to see the blinker long before I start merging over. Take my mirror, look over my shoulder. When it's safe to do so, merge over. And I would do that for every single lane. And now I see that Bailey Road is one mile. So if I'm nervous about riding in traffic, I still want to go over every single lane. And make sure when you do that shoulder look, you kind of covering your brakes just in case you turn back around and make that shoulder look real quick just in case you turn back around and it's there. And also, what we didn't cover, we'll cover that in another video, is riding behind trucks, big rigs or big trucks that you can't see around. 
So now that I'm in a lane that I know I'm going to do my exit, I feel a lot safer. There's nobody that's going to come over to my from my right, merging into my left. And I'm going to put my blinker on well ahead of time before I exit. So my exit is coming up shortly. I'm still checking my mirrors. Got my blinker on. Exit coming up. Moving over to the exit lane. And now what I'm doing is covering my front brake and my rear brake at the same time. So I'm taking my exit slowly and smoothly and start slowing down from back here. And if you're a new rider, once you get to this point, you're back on the street and doing your street riding. And as we stated before, sometimes you might just want to jump off and on the freeway until you get used to merging. And once you get on that freeway, make an attempt to get into the fast lane. And if you're not comfortable in the fast lane, like Cake says, ride in a lane you're more comfortable in. But at all costs, please try to stay out the lane in which you enter the freeway on because as you continue down your route, more traffic is coming on the freeway also. Got anything else to add, Kate? One more thing I want to add. After you put your signal on, like us, we have self-canceling signals. Don't forget to cancel your blinker. Okay, then we're going to wrap it up right there. So I hope this helps any new riders out. And we know there's a lot about riding on the freeway. So right. make sure you put that in the description section to help these new riders out or people that fear riding on the freeway. Until then, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. And I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.